Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this particular video, we are going to discuss about how we can deploy generative AI models with NVIDIA NIM Inference Microservices. Now, recently NVIDIA has announced about NVIDIA NIM and it is quite amazing because your entire deployment of the generative AI models, it becomes very much easy, you know, and I, as I've always said, right, Many companies will come up with many, many open source and paid LLM models or multi-model. But at the end of the day, the clear winner is those companies who are able to make this amazing inferencing engine and who also provides amazing features for the deployment, which will be easy for all the companies that will be using. So in this video, I'll be talking about NVIDIA NIM, Inference Microservices. Two important things I'm going to talk about. One is NVIDIA hosted NIMs. So NVIDIA NIM provides a lot of different open source models, uh, which is which you will be able to access it with the help of APIs. So I'll be showing that particular practical version. And the other one is that I've also got the access of NVIDIA NIM Launchpad. So NVIDIA Launchpad, which will allow you to deploy any generative AI models. Again, understand that this NVIDIA Launchpad will the access will not be given to everyone. This is just given to access to enterprises or developers who are working for the enterprises. So just to give you this entire demo, I have taken this particular access. Again, thanks to NVIDIA for providing this so that I will be able to show it to my users itself, right? So if you're probably working in any of the companies, you can definitely go ahead and try it out. Uh, you know, you can tell your managers like how easy it becomes with respect to this particular deployment. Okay, now uh, let us go ahead and let us try now. So once I probably click on try now, here you will be able to see build.nvidia.explore and here there are a lot of different models that are available over here and these are nothing but nvidia hosted nims so all this particular model is basically hosted with the help of nvidia nims and uh, here you can see that okay we have some of the models with respect to reasoning like meta llama 370b instruct mistral then you have mistral uh, ai mistral large google gamma 7b so these all are open source models with respect to visual design also you have some of the models with respect to retrieval you have some kind of models speech biology right so different different models are definitely there right so what i'm actually going to do i'm just going to take one of the model let's say meta llama 370b instruct so once i click over here here, there are two things that you'll be able to see. On the right hand side, how you can probably access this specific model with the help of NVIDIA hosted NIMS. Here, uh, all you need to do is that you need to get an API. And for that, you need to log in inside this. Once you probably log in, you'll be getting some thousand credits, which you can probably use for this particular API and you can access this entire platform. So what you need to do is that, uh, and already I've made one of the video regarding this NVIDIA hosted names, uh, where I've shown you how you can copy this code and all. But I will go ahead and probably run this particular code. So here, this is my entire code. And before I go ahead, this uh, is provided in different, like for Python you have for Node. Let's say you want to probably develop with the help of Node, uh, JavaScript node programming language, which is a backend uh, programming language, then you can use this. If you want to go ahead with shell, right, where you're just going and hitting the curl command, you can actually go ahead and do this. If you want to probably do the entire setup with the help of dockers in your local workstation, you can also follow this. So first of all, you need to go ahead and do the docker and login on nvcr.io, then provide username, provide password. Uh, the password can be actually got from this particular API. But one of the examples that I'm actually going to show is Python, right? And here you can see that code is quite simple, right? So if you probably just go ahead and see the code, it is nothing but from OpenAI, import OpenAI. So here you can probably see OpenAI. Then this is your OpenAI and again, uh, it's almost similar to the OpenAI API that we use. But here we are giving two uh, important thing. One is the base URL. So this is the URL that we'll be hitting. And this will be the API key that we need to probably hit. And this API key can be got from here. So if I go ahead and click on this API key, it will generate the API key itself, right? So let me just go ahead and click it and let's go ahead and generate it. So once this API key is generated, since I have thousand credits, I can use this particular API key for thousand requests, let's say, or 2000 requests. So I'll just go ahead and copy this, okay? And keep it somewhere. Then you have this, this is the API key that you can see over here. Then we have this entire completion client.chat.completion create. I'm calling the meta llama 17, uh, llama 370 billion instruct uh, model. 
here role will be user, user and content i have to probably write the content over here so let's say if i go ahead and write hello so here you'll be able to see the content is basically updated over here right and then you have different parameters like temperature top underscore p max underscore token and stream is equal to true okay and then finally with the help of for chunk in completion i am basically going to just explore and get the content over here right similarly let's go i will go ahead and ask for machine learning what is machine learning if i go ahead and ask you here you'll be able to see that i am going to get the code over here now i will try to run this entire code okay so for this what i have actually done i will just go ahead and show it to you so i have pasted it over here uh, i have taken this entire api key i have put it in my environment variable and i have used dot env from load uh, import load underscore dot env and then i have imported os along with this open ai i have given the base url i am putting the api key over here and this is what is my completion so the same thing so here you can see i'm calling meta llama 370 billion instruct role will be user and content i have written as what is machine learning so i've set up all the other parameters like temperature is equal to 0.5 and same thing whatever thing is there i've just copied and pasted it over here right for chunk in completion now let's go ahead and execute this uh so i will just go ahead and execute this over here let me clear the screen so if i go ahead and execute python app.py now my question was that was asked was what is machine learning now let's see whether i'll be able to get it or not so here you can see that i'm getting an unauthorized error so let me do one thing let me just go ahead and copy the new api key directly over here anyhow you can also go ahead and create it now i will just go ahead and sorry uh, not on this file i will go ahead and update my api key over here let me just go ahead and do this for you now i will go ahead and update python app.py okay now if i execute it i think we should be able to get the output so here you can see machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence there are several like key aspects of machine learning data this 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 all the information is getting displayed so this is how you can probably go ahead and directly with the help of api you know so this is completely uh, like nvidia hosted nims uh, so here you'll be able to see various models uh, they are open source models they are like gamma llama 3 whatever things you basically want to explore you can go ahead and explore right so uh, along with this you'll be able to get credits and all and as i said if you want to do everything in the local environment let's say you have a very good gpu you can probably go ahead and do the setup with uh, dockers and here are all the step by step what you really need to do okay so this was about how you can go ahead and run this again as i said you can go ahead and try another different different models with respect to this nvidia uh, hosted nims so you want to go ahead and try poly gamma you can go ahead and try if you want to try phi 3 you can go ahead and try so here also you'll be able to see the image see you'll be able to generate image with cities that uh, input is like this and here you can probably see with respect you can uh, create a you can work with multi models also now let me go ahead and show you that how you can deploy this with the help of nvidia launchpad and again this is only given access to uh, you know enterprises so but i will try thanks thank you again for nvidia for providing this particular access now we'll do the same work uh, like we will try to deploy the llama 3 uh, in a specific cloud through this particular launchpad okay so here uh, first of all i will have to probably you can see what is name so name make it easy to deploy and serve your favorite ml models for multi user inference on your own infrastructure especially with large language model uh, you can also do it in local execution on individual hardware or remote execution on a third party hosted api so first of all i will just go ahead and click on this coder id as soon as i probably create uh, click on this nvidia is going to take care of everything okay so i will just go ahead and log in over here nvidia is going to take care of each and everything over here okay uh, with respect to creating the environment right so here you can see this is the environment that is getting set up and uh, with respect to the readme file this all things will get executed automatically right so here you can see over here everything i have right now uh, this is just like my two terminals and here you can see that i'm having some gpus okay gpus with respect to nvidia h100 and uh, i will just try to show you how to deploy llama 3 right and these are some of the steps that is probably given over here okay see step by step i'll show, show you okay so first of all it says that to deploy a nim we first need to inject an api key for the environment so let me do one thing let me just go ahead and uh, inject this particular api key so i will just copy this over here let me just open my notebook file okay i'll paste it over here and i'm going to replace my api key with this api key that i have right which i just generated right now okay and now i'm just going to execute it 
now first of all i'm going to ex ex execute this export right from that so let me just go ahead and use this terminal and paste it over here see i'm trying to paste it over here and i'll go ahead and press enter so as soon as i do this i hope you are able to see this right we are able to export it completely right then the next command that we really need to execute is this one right so we will go ahead uh, so here you can see then we just need to launch the container for our model passing in a few arguments so what model we are basically going to use meta llama 38b instruct okay so i'm just going to copy this entirely and paste it over here again and just press enter so automatically you'll be able to see that my entire llama 3 model will start getting deployed right so here is an explanation of the, all the facts that we have used gpus given the docker container access to all the gpus and all in short uh, it is running an image it is just calling an image and it is probably creating that particular image and running in this port number right and this entire thing is basically happening in one of the cloud platform right so here you can see <clears throat> uicon running on this particular port number right now if i go down if we really need to check whether each and everything is working fine so i can go ahead and copy this command and let's paste it over here so for that i will just hide my face so that you will be able to see it okay so here i will just go ahead and paste it okay curl uh, local host 8000 health ready if i press enter you'll be able to see that yeah here i'm getting health dot response messages like services ready right so here what has happened is that i've just deployed and how easy it was right I just need to add the cloud over there and NVIDIA NIM has probably created this entire environment ready for me. I just had to execute some export command and all and I am able to just deploy it very much easily. Right. Now, <clears throat> the best thing will be that how do I probably access it with the help of NVIDIA inference microservices. So first of all, I'll go ahead and click this and here will be a Jupyter notebook that will get executed and this is getting executed in the same cloud. Okay. So just to ex uh, check whether each and everything is working fine. So this is my entire notebook. So I will go ahead and hit this curl command, which I specifically hit and see whether my service is running fine or not. So here you can see health.response message service is ready, right? And now this is my request. I am requesting, I'm, I'm saying, hey, request.get with respect to a local host version one models dot JSON. So I will just go ahead and print my model. So here you can see my model is meta llama three it be instruct okay and finally you'll be able to see we will be able to send the request so this is my endpoint this is the header that we really need to put and this is the roles right hello how are you i'm quite well write a short limerick about the wonders of gpu computing and these are my data with respect to model name messages max token what we are basically setting and finally we do request dot post on that particular endpoint okay so if you go ahead and see this code, it will be looking something like this request dot post and point headers JSON data. And finally, we'll be able to display the content. Now, this is going to get, generate a paragraph right for there was a uh, there was a GPU so fine whose computing powers were truly divine. So here it says that, hey, write a short limerick about this and I'm able to get it. Finally, you'll be able to see from OpenAI, I'm actually going to use this particular base URL and again use the same code that we basically used uh, with NVIDIA uh, hosted NIMPS and here you can probably see the same type of output. All right. We can also perform st streaming inf uh, interface uh, inference with the help of OpenAI library, but how quick it is right now. See all the input is basically coming up. Output is response is also coming up. So in short, what we have done is the help of NVIDIA Launchpad, which probably provided me the entire environment. I have hosted it completely. My model is uh, over here. It is hosted with the API. And uh, again, with the I'm able to interact with this name, right? And uh, I'm able to work with the same OpenAI library, right? So I hope you like this particular video. Uh, again, uh, this enterprise version will only be uh, this launch pad will only be available for enterprises not for anyone but again i try to show you as much as i could um yeah but go ahead and try it out uh, nvidia hosted names as i have already shown you you can go ahead and try it out all these open source models which are already deployed over there and uh, yeah just try to hit that particular api so yes this was it for my side i hope you like this particular video i will see you all in the next video thank you take care and regarding this all the information will be given in the description of this particular video thank you take care